Look what we have here, 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner, ground up restored, number match 383, number match four speed, 355 sure grip rear end. Look at all the documentation. Normally I'm holding it, it's too much to hold. There's binders full of receipts, uh, photos, uh, Galen Govier documented, uh, all sorts of really good information about this car. One owner for like 20 years restored it to original OEM specs. So go to volocars.com. That's where you'll find price tags on over 200 collector cars we have for sale. And each one of them also has a monthly finance option that you can afford. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when these videos are posted. So it has the Roadrunner hood with the like scoops or flares or whatever you want to call them right here. And this is all clean and straight and fits right. You know, square and flush and all looks good. The body, all amazing, straight. Gaps are right on, smooth all along the bottom. Gaps are real nice. Shuts real nice, straight, no dents, no bubbles. Even down here on the rocker where the seam is, as smooth as can be. Clean, straight metal, no issues. Real faint, it looks like a bird dropping at one time, ate into the surface of it right there a little bit. This is all real nice. And again, if you look for it, there's some little tiny pimples in a few places in the paint, but overall it is really nice looking again straight lines up real good straight all the way down this side too i don't see any body work showing i don't see any rust or damage this rocker is nice and smooth shuts real nice all the gaps the lines everything's great the body's fantastic repainted its original avocado green color it does have metal flake in it, and it's all laid out evenly. It's all one color. A matter of fact, I'm going to tell you a little more about the paint right here. It was sanded and media blasted, and there's pictures of it in there. It has three coats of polyester primer and then sanded. Two more coats of polyester primer, sanded again. Three coats of Sickens color build primer, then sanded again. Three coats of avocado green base coat, one coat of avocado green uh, misted to prevent metallic shattering, then three coats of clear coat, wet sand and buff, professionally painted by JE Customs. I lost count of how many coats of paint that is, but that's a lot. But it was sanded in between, and that's how you got this nice, beautiful finish. Uh, the vinyl top is excellent. It's green with the nice grain. Right here, it's lifting a little bit. Not, not bubble, not rust. You can, actually, I can push it down and do this, and it'll stick. But then after a while, there's two spots that just lift up a little bit. A lot of the chrome's original. The bumper's original. It has some freckling, has a scratch or two. When you stand back, it's beautiful. The whole tail panel and tail lights are original. There's a little bit of pitting on the tail lights. Uh, the trim overall looks very good. A little scuff, a little dent here and there, but it looks like it was polished. They also left the chrome vents. Uh, this one has freckling. It's smooth. The other side is a little pitting, which we'll show in a minute. Mirrors on both sides look new. Door handles look new. You got the Roadrunner. Windshields crystal clear. The rubber seals soft. The stainless moldings are very nice has the optional fender turn signals. They look like they're new. Front bumper has been re-chromed, although there is a scratch right here and there is some imperfections in the chrome. Grill is nice, straight, real good shape. Correct antenna. Yeah, this side actually has some bumps on the vent window frame here. The mirror looks new. Uh, it has the 14-inch Magnum-style wheels in good shape. They're painted nice. Uh, they look very good. Not brand new, but they look very nice. With reproduction, Firestone, wide oval, red striped tires, red line tires. So I think that wraps up the outside. You're going to really like the motor compartment. Let's look at it. 
All right, we've got a clean and complete trunk compartment. Look how nice this is all painted under here. It's got the sticker. And then the jam is painted real nice. Weather strip uh, is replaced. Inside is all solid metal. Uh, they did replace the quarter panels. You can see that on each side. Looks like they kept the original mat. Seemed like he was really about preserving the car, restoring it and preserving what he could. Uh, BF Goodrich tire for a spare on a painted rim. It has a complete jack and lug wrench, and it has a working trunk light. <clears throat> you can now text to 844-592-2432. Text the word NEW, and you'll be given a text notification every time a new arrival is posted to our website. Door jams are painted really slick. They did a great job painting this entire car. Weather strips are replaced. The inside metal is painted real nice. Door panels, this has the deluxe interior. It's a two-tone green that looks like it's all replaced. Matter of fact, it is a legendary interior. That's the higher quality. All nice and clean, not beat up, cracked, broken. Uh, pretty certain it's supposed to be 57,000 actual miles. We have a factory tachometer. And all this looks good. The heater controls, the radio. And uh, Mopar put the glove box doors in upside down, in my opinion. But the glove box uh, liner is new. Kick panel's real nice. Carpets are real nice. You got beep beep road runners. We'll try the horn in a second. Original four speed. Hearst shifter, and it has a little light that tells you when you're in reverse. They've also added an oil pressure gauge underneath there. So the seats are rebuilt, restored. They're nice. Uh, again, legendary upholstery in excellent shape. It has uh, the original green seat belts in good shape. So everything back here is upholstered. It's looking good. The side panels, the seats. Uh, looking really sharp. The rear shelf looks real good. Headliner's in great shape. We've got shoulder belts. we got working dome light. We've got the visors, mirror. All right, let's see. There you go, meet meet. So yeah, nice looking interior. It's a really good car. I'm not going to say it's a perfect car because it's not, but it's a really good car. Good, honest car. Someone's going to be very happy with it. Uh, it was restored with a lot of pride. So in 1968 only, the VIN number is actually stamped on, on the block. If you were to look down there and we have pictures, the block and the transmission are both stamped. The VIN number matched to this car. So it's the 383 um, motor and it's been completely rebuilt. I've got some specs. It's board. It's a 406. It has Keith Black pistons, comp cam. Um, heads were rebuilt, high volume oil pump. It's all stock from the outside. The manifolds, valve covers. It does have an upgraded Edelbrock carb with an electric choke. You put Mopar hoses on. And you see the firewall. It's all painted real nice. All the components are nice and clean and proper. Uh, you know, the hoses are all run neatly. <clears throat> yeah, the, I think it's the washer bottle. Yeah. The BP porn. They've installed an uh, overflow bottle for the radiator. Chrysler radiator. New alternator. Reproduction clamps. Even reproduction plug wires. They say Chrysler. They're dated 1968. This has power steering has the VIN number stamped uh, right here. And we've got the original fender tag right here. The battery is properly secured. You can see the steering components look fresh. The brake lines look like they're stainless. And again, all painted beautifully. Under the hood's painted real nice. So you can be proud of this motor compartment. And you're going to really like how this motor runs. Caleb's going to take you for a drive right now.
All right, guys. Beautiful Roadrunner we are taking out. Uh, going around the block. I'm going to show you how well it drives. Definitely feels like a classic. So. Get the authentic feel to the authentic car. Feels solid over the bumps. There's a little travel in the steering. It's not bad though. Tracks straight. It's not pulling on me. Brakes feel good. Power steering works nice. Let's see what she's got. Ooh. Accelerates beautifully. Uh, shifts really nicely through the gears. The trans felt really good right there. No hiccups. And we're cruising now. I think it drives better the faster you're going, so make sure you uh, rip through the gears. See, you know what? It restored underneath the car too. Every component looks like it's been replaced or rebuilt or restored. All of the suspension, front and back, the, the bushings, the springs, the shocks, the steering components, they all looked uh, like they were replaced. Uh, the fuel system, uh, the brakes been completely rebuilt. E-brake is all hooked up. Uh, factory correct, dual exhaust system still looks like new. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's as fresh as the top looks. Starter, correct starter, that uh, looks fresh. VIN number matching, four speed, it's the 833 four speed trans. <clears throat> That's all clean. Uh, matter of fact, been rebuilt, they had to replace some gears in there. All, this, all the specs are on our website. You know, all the details, including a lot of good pictures of the underneath. You can see for yourself how clean it is. But the shift linkage looks fresh. Uh, in back, it is the eight and three quarter rear end with 355 sure grip gears. All the floors, frame rails, all that's clean inside the rear inner fenders, all nice and clean with a nice uh, factory type undercoat on the floors. So go to volocars.com to talk to the salesman. They'll help walk you through the process and answer your questions, including how you get this delivered to your door and how you get the, uh, take advantage of the financing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.